Hello, my name is Darren Hart, Senior Service Technician at Raypack. After watching this video, you will be able to reverse the heat exchanger on our Raypack ASME pool heater. Our residential pool heaters are built with the inlet-outlet water connections on the right-hand side. If your customer setup requires the water to be plumbed in on the left side of the heater, you will need to reverse the heat exchanger. The tools you will need are a drill with a Phillips bit or Phillips screwdriver, a 5 16 inch magnetic nut driver, flat blade screwdriver, and needle nose pliers. Verify the following before starting. Power has been shut off to the unit, gas has been shut off to the unit, system pump has been shut off. Using your fingers or the flat blade screwdriver, remove the knurled thumb screw on the door assembly. Pull the door assembly off and set it aside. Using your Phillips screwdriver or drill, remove the six Phillips screws from the jacket top. Remove the jacket top by lifting the back edge and pulling it up and off the heater. Unscrew the upper access panel on the right hand side and remove it. Remove the high limit cover from the bottom access panel. Pull the wires off the limit and through the knockout of the lower access panel. Unscrew the lower access panel and remove it. Pull the shim holding the sensor from the drywell and remove the sensor. Unscrew and remove the access panel on the left side of the heater. Disconnect the wires from high limit one and the pressure switch. You can now see both the inlet outlet header and the return header. These two headers are configured differently. The inlet outlet header has eight nuts and the return header has six nuts that secure it to the tube bundle. They are not interchangeable, so the entire heat exchanger must be lifted and rotated. Remove the four Phillips screws and pull off the rear jacket panel. Remove the three 5 16 inch hex head screws that secure the top of the weather shield to the bulkhead. The lower half of the weather shield is secured by two hex head screws at each leg and three hex head screws at the rear of the heater. Remove all seven screws. Lift the weather shield up and out of the cabinet. Use a 5 16 magnetic nut driver to remove the four hex head screws securing the flue collector on the bottom. Lift the flue collector up and out of the heater. The heat exchanger can now be lifted up and rotated. The safety wiring and sensor must be pulled into the front of the heater and rerouted to the appropriate points on the header. Reinstall the flue collector, weather shield, and weather shield top. The access panels must be reinstalled on the opposite sides of their original location aligning with the inlet outlet header and return header's new configuration. Reinstall the rear jacket panel, jacket top, and door assembly. Turn the power, gas, and system pump back on. For more information about this product, visit our website at raypack.com. Please subscribe to the Raypack channel on YouTube for future how-to videos.